Welcome to 2024 everyone, I've been dying to update you on the progress of the new office renovations which you might have seen some sneak peeks on my Instagram or shorts regarding my new desk setup and the upgrades I'm adding to that space. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe so you guys don't miss when I drop the update video. But today's highlight is the TV gaming setup I'm putting together. Okay, so here's my issue when selecting the light for this space. By the way, this is the best setup. This is how it's coming out. And the rest of the office still under construction. A lot to show you. But let me actually set you down right here. So when I was looking for an LED specifically for this space, my issue that was that when I found one by Govi, it required a camera to go right here and using like some orange tracking blocks put around the TV to track what's on your TV, right? Actual content. But I wasn't feeling that. And not only that, it's not super accurate. It'll still give you a little bit of that effect, but a sync box is far more accurate. And I found one by Govi as well, but it didn't support 4K and 120 hertz refresh rate from my research and that's when i found the same box by fancy leds on youtube and that thing looks so dope because again there was no camera required to be on top of the tv so i reached out to fancy leds and they were super nice to send me a unit so here we are to test this out right out of the box you have some marketing material and instructions on how to set up the light strip and the recommended orientation then you see the sync box that comes with two buttons an on and off button and a mode button and you can also hold the on and off button to sync or resync the wi-fi you get to see the led strip which is about a 20 footer and i believe they have different dimensions on their website depending on what size tv you have in the box you also get the hdmi cord and the corner clips with some double-sided tape for installation and of course the dc power adapter the installation is very straightforward you want of course prep your tv by wiping it down with some rubbing alcohol or some pads if you have any available then simply install the double-sided tape to the corner brackets and place each bracket to the back of your tv in my experience you want to hold those brackets down for about 10 to 20 seconds until they really stick to the back of your tv and in my case one was lifting up a little bit so a little bit of hot glue fixed it after attaching the corner brackets it was time to route the leds starting from one corner and working my way up around the tv ensuring the orientation is as described in the instructions so that the app can properly identify the leds orientation for optimal performance and accurate reading connecting everything was a breeze you simply plug in your sync box to the dc power provided connect the led strips via the usb-c connection hook up the hdmi output and plug it to your tv and the hdmi input to your gaming console in this case i'll be using my ps5 once everything is plugged in all you gotta do is download the fancy app to set up your device location make sure your bluetooth is turned on and you're on a 2.5 gigahertz network once you see that you should see the device you click add and you're good to go then select your led orientation based on how you had set up on the back of your tv and you're pretty much done you're presented with a menu with a few options where you can select some dynamic scenes like rainbow fire or even just kinetic scenes you'll also have the ability for your led to react to sound or just tap on the sync logo to have the box project whatever you have on your screen once you do that you can select the low medium or high diffusion modes that basically what it means is how accurate do you want the led to be the high mode of course is going to give it the most accuracy to what's going on with your screen and the low will kind of blend the colors a little bit more and give you almost like a medium of what you have on your screen i kind of go with the high mode because i do want the leds to be the most accurate as possible on the settings you can also kind of select the level of saturation for your colors which is only available in HDR or Dolby version. Yeah, so basically anything you play or stream through your gaming console or your device will come to life and will light up on your wall. Meaning if you have smart apps on your TV and you wanna say stream directly from your TV, the LED will not react to it unless you go through your device and you stream through there. 
so my ps5 just became my main device to watch content and of course game because it's the only way that i can take full advantage of the sync box so what sets this sync box apart is its seamless integration with the gaming setups enhancing the immersive experience without the need of any camera setups on top of your tv and still taking advantage of 4k hdmi 2.0 and 120 refresh rate for gaming now, while we're here, we might as well address the cable management of this area. I don't think anybody wants a cluttered gaming area. Even if you don't care about cable management, deep down, you kind of don't want that. So I took the liberty of organizing mine. With this power station from Anchor, I neatly routed cables through the wall, keeping everything tucked away for a clean, minimal look. Because this media unit is very minimal and clean with high legs, I didn't want to see any cables speaking to the bottom. So a touch is double-sided Velcro and a discreet nail made sure everything stayed snug against the wall, giving that sleek floating aesthetic. Then I simply plugged all my devices and I was pretty pleased with how it came out. This is an area in my office that is still in development, so expect to see more videos around this space. And if you have any questions about anything you saw or I missed, please feel free to hit me up in the comments below as I do tend to answer most of the comments. I should also have some links in the description in case you want to find this sync box, I might have some discount codes as well. With that, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and peace out. You on my mind a lot. Don't need no time. Watch. I don't know how no. But you ain't in. Plastic bars when I copy my steel. Plastic bars when I copy my steel.